Yeah. So it's done. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. Got it done last night. This still needs to get built. I've just got it clamped to this, this arm right now, but the belt sander is actually functional now. So here's the rundown on it. 2x72, two, 2 inches wide, 72 inches circumference all the way around. So how this works is I have a, a flat platen right here. Basically it's it's a flat piece of metal that I've welded to this plate here and then it's just on these uh, bolts here with a little, little extra slack for adjustment. This is set up to where Ninety degrees. So the belt goes around this direction. Drive motor back here spins it. This wheel is for tracking. Basically, it's I built this hinge. This knob I three I three D printed this knob here, um, and this goes up and down. Basically, translates this direction to this way so this rocks back and forth like that and it tracks the wheel tracks the grinder excuse me the belt grinder so that the the belt aligns with these front wheels so yesterday I actually had to build a spring this is a torsion spring that I did not have so basically I built this jig here just a half inch pipe welded to this plate Use these washers and, and a nut here to hold the, the the music wire in place. And basically, I just wound that that um, that bar uh, that the uh, round stock around the uh, this this mandrel here. So built that spring. And so the idea is that the spring causes this. To be in tension and takes out the slack of this belt. Right? Got this in last week. This is the, the variable frequency drive. It takes in single phase 220 volt, converts it to three phase, four wires here, three phase to the three phase 1.5 horsepower motor so the the frequency drive also controls uh, the speed it goes from zero all the way up to 50 at full speed this is a, a 3400 rpm motor so we could take it up to Super slow. To super fast. There it is. So that's at full speed now. It's a little bit off center, so I can turn this knob here. So, this is my first ever real build using metal. I kind of taught myself how to weld on this this project. So what's cool is after I finished building it, I did the nickel test. Balancing a nickel. On the tool rest. And I will spin this up 
to 50 hertz, the full speed. We'll see if it stays up. There it is, full speed. Maintaining balance. All the way back down. Still sitting there. So, pretty happy with this build. Thanks for watching.